Yes, may I help you? I'm gonna go wander down the beach for a while. Sure, but hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the south beach and a swabber size glass at two and four. Water's warm and the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead corpse washing up on shore. Might want to keep the kids away from any rotting flesh. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? <laughs> Let me see your membership card and we'll fix you right up. Why? You're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgy, part of the Leisure Lovers Planned Community for Retired Pirates. It's very exclusive. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. I had to eat one of those while I was lost at sea and it was terrible. Then let me also point out that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Good day. <laughs> Hi. Yes? I was thinking of joining a club for snotty rich folks. Where do I sign? Well, it's not that easy. First, you'll have to get on our waiting list. That could take several months. Then, there's the credit check, references, family history, the oral presentation, and the written test. Mostly dealing with Spanish treasure, pillaging and golfing in the greater Caribbean area. And then finally, our 14-step interviewing process. And then I'll be in your club? No, I'm afraid after that, I'd have to blackball you. What if I just washed up a bit? Then could I join your club? It's nothing personal, but club policy states that I have to exclude anyone whose odor or presence might disgust or offend the other members. I'm sure you understand. Hand me a towel, young man. Those towels are for club members only. Gotta be going. <laughs> Brimstone Beach Club. Member since 1632. Excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. My card. Let me see that. Oh no! In the name of all things clean, you've got a membership! Yes, and I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No, you mustn't! Then perhaps I'll stay here and tell you my life story. Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. The towels are all wet now. Papa Bishu! these holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. Brush Threepwood. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Threewood. I am Palido, Palido Domingo. I am so glad you're here. Finally, someone on this island with some manners. And my drink needs refreshing. Take it away and bring me another. Wow, you're pale. 
Look, babe, I haven't been sunbathing for very long, so cut me some slack. How long have you been out here? Since February. I've seen correctional fluids with better color than you. Yeah, babe, I'm not the tannest cat around. But, as you can see, I'm working on it. You look like you've lived under a rock your whole life. My complexion is a little on the light side, I'll give you that. But soon I'll be a bronzed god. You've got the savage pale. Please, babe, if you say any more, I will become very self-conscious. Hey, I can see my reflection in your chest. Thank you for your keen insight, my friend. Why don't you go do something useful now? Like inhale a puffer fish, okay, babe? You're so pale, you make snow look tan. Be quiet now. If I bleached chalk, it wouldn't be as pale as you. All right, all right, yes, I'm very pale. Thank you, there. You've hurt me deeply and you know I mean it. Are you happy, huh? Babe, are you happy? Are you happy now? Yes. I hate you. Get me a drink. Would you like to join my crew? Oh no, babe. I'm not a sailor. I make my living off the hard work and talent of others. You're a project leader on a computer game? No, no. I'm a high-powered talent agent. Major stars. We're talking major stars here. I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope, never heard of it. That's funny. That guy at the theater told me you booked all his shows there. Cromwell? I should have known. If I booked that guy in a dinghy, there'd be empty seats. So you do know how to get to Blood Island? Yeah, yeah. They had a really nice room there, too. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. It was the place to go before they moved the shipping lanes. I used to book so many gigs there, I had the map tattooed on my back. On your back? All those little yellow sticky notes just kept getting lost. Oh, why did you lie and say you didn't know how to get to Blood Island? I, I, I just don't want to say. What? It's your face, babe. There, I said it, babe. I hope you can forgive me. I just gotta be honest. I just didn't think you were the right type for Blood Island. That's not some place I picture your career going right now. Let me get you a booking somewhere that's in your league. I can gig you at this little shoe factory in Hoboken. It's Blood Island or nothing. That's the way it's gotta be, babe, then that's the way it's gotta be. But you're gonna have to find new representation, okay? Can I see your map to Blood Island? You can see it when I roll over to tan my back. When will that be? Could be a long time, babe. A very, very long time. See you around. He's incredibly pale. 